Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking to you about the number one thing I get asked, which is what are your top weight loss tips? Now there are so many weight loss tips out there and it all depends on who you talk to, whether it's your doctor, a personal trainer, someone who's lost weight um, on a low carb diet, someone who's lost weight on a high carb diet, it all depends. Um, all I can speak to you about is what I've experienced over the last two and a half years of my weight loss journey. So I'll start off by saying that although the scale is a great tool to uh, track your progress and see if what you're doing is working for you, there are other ways to track your progress. And my favorite and something I tell everyone to do is take lots of pictures. So the second you decide to start, and if you've already started, then right now, just start taking lots of pictures. Take pictures in clothes, out of clothes, naked, different angles, take as many pictures as you can because change happens all over the place in different ways and sometimes it, it won't even be reflected on the scale. Um, this whole past year I've kind of maintained my weight on the scale but people on Instagram were telling me, wow you look so good or I've seen a lot of change in you lately and I'm thinking what? But I haven't lost a pound. And then when I sit and I look at pictures and compare them, I can see my body changing because as long as you continue to eat healthy and exercise, your body is continuously changing. Um, so that would be a really big tip. That's something I always tell people is take lots and lots of pictures. It's really, really helpful. The next tip I have, which seems obvious, is drink lots of water and green tea. There's sodium in everything that we eat and sodium just makes you retain water and keeps you bloated. So even if you're eating on point and exercising every day, you can still be either not losing weight or even gaining weight on the scale. So drinking lots of water will flush your system and um, help you not to retain water. Also, green tea is really, really, there's like a thousand health benefits, but I find that it helps me reduce bloat and also helps me with my digestive system. So a side tip on how to drink more water is by getting a huge water bottle that has a straw. When I was just drinking out of a glass, I would not get up a thousand times to refill that little glass. I just wouldn't. So I ended up drinking like three, four glasses of water a day and it wasn't enough. Um, so getting a big water bottle that I only had to refill a couple of times, um, I end up filling it up like five times because now I'm obsessed, now I crave water, but yeah, really you would only have to fill this up twice um, to get enough water in. And that, it just helped me so much more because I'm lazy. I just am. The other thing, let's check out how lazy I really am. When I had a water bottle that I would have to lift to my face and drink, like lift my arm, lift the water bottle and drink it that way, I rarely did that until I got a straw. Now I only have to bring it to my mouth and drink. It's so easy. The other thing is a straw totally protects your lipstick. It does not ruin it the way drinking out of a water bottle, regular water bottle is. Moving on. So the next tip I always tell people is sweat a little each day. I know a lot of people don't want to buy a gym membership or don't want to buy expensive equipment to do at home. I know I wouldn't be even going to the gym if I didn't have one included in my condo. So, and even then I get too lazy to go all the way down to <laughs> down the elevator. So when you don't want to do a formal, full blown gym workout, Find another way to sweat a little, even if it's just 20 or 30 minutes out of your whole 24 hour day, you can do something. So the next thing I do if I don't want to go to the gym is put on a YouTube video, a free workout video. There's tons to choose from. You just type in exactly what you want. I usually type in low impact cardio workout. My favorite two channels are Body Project and Fitness Blender. Like, they're the best, they're the easiest to follow, so check those out if you haven't already. So if I'm still too lazy to do a home workout video, which is so simple, then I go to the next level, which is putting on my favorite show or movie and standing in front of the television while I move, doing squats, uh, sit-ups, jumping jacks, uh, high knees, just different kinds of movements to get my heart rate up and start to sweat. 
If I'm too lazy for any kind of workout and I really have no interest in putting on workout clothes and doing a workout, then I go for a walk. I'll take Oliver or I'll go to the gym. You guys could take your kids. You can do things like that. Now, there are times, believe it or not, that I'm even too lazy to go for a walk with my dog. So then you gotta get creative and trick yourself. And so what I do is I say, I need, let's say this from the store, that's 20, you know, 15, 20 minutes down the street, I'm gonna walk there. So I'll walk to the store, walk around the store, get my things, and then walk home. And that's always, always, always what I do when it's a last resort, when I'm really, really not interested. Um, the other things I do uh, when I'm not interested in any kind of formal workout is if I know that I haven't worked out that day, I'll take the stairs up to the con up to my condo rather than taking the elevator or I'll park really far when I'm at a store and walk the make sure to walk longer um, through a parking lot. There's different little ways to trick yourself into exercising more. So the next tip I have is to share your journey and to build a positive support system. So for me, um, whenever I would try to lose weight, I would always hide it. I wouldn't tell anyone ever. And the reason for that was if I wanted to eat a slice of pizza or a cookie, um, I wouldn't want to feel ashamed or I wouldn't want people telling me should you be eating that on your diet I thought you were trying to lose weight is that healthy I did not want to hear that because the second I I would hear that I'd want to punch people in the face and I'd want to eat more and the other reason I didn't tell anybody is because if I gave up like I knew I would um, I didn't want to disappoint people and I didn't want to be held accountable because in the back of my mind I knew I was going to give up and I kind of wanted to give up because I knew I wanted to just eat whatever I wanted and just sit on the couch. So I was giving myself an out. So when I tell you to tell people and build a support system, that doesn't give you an out. That holds you accountable to your goal, to what you've set out to do. I would even go as far as to tell you to make an Instagram account, tracking your journey, documenting everything, because that really, really helps to keep you accountable and really gives you such an awesome support system. Um, I didn't have people in my real life going through the same things that I was going through who understood what I was going through. Um, and that's probably why I never succeeded. You know, I can have the most supportive husband and the most supportive parents and sister and friends, um, but really if they're not going through the same things as me, I can sit and vent to them and they can nod and they can be there for me, but it's not quite the same as when somebody knows how you feel and they tell you that and they tell you you're not ridiculous and they tell you you're not alone and they tell you that they feel the same way and they share their experiences so you don't feel like an alien or a big failure. It's having a positive support system makes all the difference in the world and I really hope a lot of you will have the courage to make fitness accounts or fitness YouTube channels or whatever because I think that's the one thing that has helped me not to give up. Surrounding yourself with negative people will create a negative life and it will bring you down. So I would say to distance yourself from people who aren't supportive, encouraging and proud of you because it's really something to be proud of. Um, even if you just decided 30 minutes ago that you're going to better yourself and try to be healthier, that's something you should be so proud of because starting is the hardest part. So if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know my next tip, which is something I say daily probably, which is never give up. Never give up, don't allow yourself to give up, make that your first rule. I've made it my first and only rule, to be honest. I don't have strict rules about my food or exercise. I just kind of go with the flow and see what works. Um, I find for myself, I don't like strict rules. I feel very um, 
confined by them and it makes me want to break them and it makes me want to do the opposite like a rebel so I try to make it as open-ended as possible like you know when I said sweat every day I'm not saying go to the gym do 24 thousand squats to 2600 jumping jacks because if I had those strict rules it would feel like a chore it would feel like a job it would feel miserable I'd hate it I'd dread it and I wouldn't want to because I felt like I was just being told to do it so my rule being just sweat a little each day each day I can decide what I feel like doing and how I want to move my body so that's why I make my only rule and my number one tip is not giving up because you're going to face so many bumps along the way. This journey is a lifelong journey. There's no such thing as a finish line on a weight loss journey because if you decide to stop being healthy, then you're just going to gain your weight back, weight back eventually. Um, so you have to make the rule to never give up so that when you binge or when you go on vacation and you or if you fall off track or if you're an emotional eater and something happens in your life and you stop going to the gym and you stop eating healthy life gets in the way so there's going to be these things over and over and this is why i'm specifically making this weight loss tips video now because this just happened to me i just got off track recently because of my wedding and honeymoon i decided to get off track i decided to eat whatever i wanted and to not work out and that turned into a month long of craziness and it's so much harder than I ever expected to get back at it. I've made being lazy and eating whatever I wanted second nature all over again. So I really have to start from scratch now and I have to go back to basics. And that would make a lot of people and it what it made the old gen want to give up. Like it's so much easier to give up than to start from scratch get back to basics, um, workouts being difficult, the motivation being low, um, you just wanting to eat that pizza that you've been eating and not wanting to make a salad and you not wanting to make a smoothie. It's much easier to give up and continue your bad habits that were your old habits. Um, so the fact that I've made the rule, the number one rule and the number one tip to never give up I eventually have to get back because I've promised myself and I've promised the world that I would never give up so whether I'm off for a day a week a month a year whatever it is I have no choice but to start being healthy again the next tip I have is just start just start simple as that. I get a lot of messages from people telling me that they want to start their journey but they don't know where to start and they don't know what to do. Um, so I'll give them some advice and then they'll proceed to tell me, okay thanks, I'll start on Monday or I'll start next week or I'll start after the holidays. No. No, that's not going to work. If you don't start right away, if you don't start when you have that spark of motivation, you will never start. So that's why just start is a tip and it's a tip you've got to follow and stick to just start just do it don't think about it don't overthink it um, and it brings me into my next point which is use common sense use your common sense everyone is born with common sense and it's our choice whether we want to use it or not um, using your common sense is going to help you a lot on this journey um, telling yourself I want to start a weight loss journey but I don't know how to start you do know how to start let's do a common sense test pizza or chicken Ding. you're right candy or fruit Ding. you're right couch or walk Ding. you're right now with that being said it brings me to my next point which is find a healthy balance pizza is not always wrong the couch is not always wrong I know that for me I need a weekly cheat meal to keep me sane to keep me on the journey to help me from feeling deprived and wanting to give up so I always always urge people to have a weekly cheat meal yes it might make your weight loss slower but I will take that any day I rather have 
long-lasting, sustainable weight loss, an overall healthy lifestyle, rather than just a quick crash diet that's gonna make me lose a huge chunk of weight that I'm gonna get bored and sick of in two seconds and give up on and gain all my weight back. So those are my top weight loss tips, things that I follow daily and what I've done from the beginning of my journey and it's still completely relevant. So I hope that some of these can help you or that some of these might have sparked other ideas in you. If you have any other tips that have really helped work for you, leave them in the comments below so that we can all help and support each other. If you enjoyed watching this video and anything was helpful for you, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos and we will see you in the next one. Bye guys!